Hello everyone! Microsoft Excel is great for working with accounting and financial data. But how do you add the currency symbol? In this video, I will show you how to add the currency symbol and dynamic custom formatting to the cells, chart elements, formulas, and pivot tables. Let's see how this is done. Let me briefly explain my setup. I have a table showing the year-over-year -year sales growth in Euro for the last 12 months. In the table, I'm using the RunBetween function to generate new numbers every time that the sheet gets recalculated. This is just for demonstration purposes. The numbers are displayed in a column chart. To get this colorful effect, just select the series and in the Format Data Series pane, under Fill, choose Solid Fill, check Invertive Negative and choose the colors. And I also added a shadow effect to the columns. To add the Euro currency symbol to the cells in the table, I will just need to select the cells and press Ctrl and 1 together. To open the Format Cells dialog box, Alternatively, I can go to the Home tab and Number Format. Go to Currency and select the right symbol. I can also make the negative numbers appear in red color. By choosing the Accounting Format, I can line up the currency symbol and decimal points in a column. And if I need both color and alignment, then I can apply custom formatting. The last two formats that I selected got saved as format codes in the list. The currency format is the last one in the list and the accounting format is the one before. The format code can have up to four sections. For positive numbers, negative numbers, zero, and text, each separated with semicolons. Not all sections need to be specified, and if two sections are specified like here, then the first one is used for positive numbers and zero, and the second one is used for negative numbers. If only one section is specified, then it is used for all numbers. Colors can be specified in square brackets at the beginning of the section. Eight colors can be specified by name in the format code, and in addition, it is possible to specify colors using an index number from 1 to 56. Please note that the color names are language specific. The alignment effect can be achieved using indents and filling out the column width. An indent is made by using an underscore followed by a parenthesis because an underscore leaves a space of the width of the character following it. An asterisk will repeat the character following it the number of times necessary to fill out the column width. In this case, the asterisk is followed by a space. The positive numbers in this format code also have a right indent because the negative numbers are in parentheses, so the space of the last parentheses needs to be accounted for. Also, the numbers are formatted to have a thousand separator, achieved using a comma between the pound signs and two obligatory decimal places, by specifying two zeros after the decimal point. I want my positive numbers to be dark green, the left indent to be larger, the negative numbers will be red, the zeros will be yellow, They will be represented by a dash, and the two question marks represent two spaces, and I don't need the text.
and this is how the numbers will look. You can do these steps for other currencies as well. The currency symbol can also be added to the axis labels and data labels in the chart. Let's take a look at the axis labels. By double clicking them, I will get the format axis pane. And under number, I can again choose currency and find the euro sign. In the format code box, I can specify custom formatting, just like for the cells. I will just copy the euro sign, remove the code and type. The positive numbers should be dark green in color, no decimal places, rounded to nearest thousand. I will get this effect by typing the comma, not followed by any placeholders followed by the text THS and the euro sign. The negative numbers should be red again no decimal places and rounded to the nearest thousand the text THS and the euro sign and zero should be yellow Press Add and the axis labels got formatted. A similar procedure can be applied to the data labels. There are two ways to incorporate the currency symbol into the formulas. Compared to my previous setup, I have two text boxes displaying dynamic commands. I added these using the Insert tab and formatted their colors. Each text box is linked to a cell with a dynamic formula. This is done easily by selecting the text box and in the formula bar typing an equal sign and linking the cell with the formula. The currency symbol itself can be copied from the format code as shown in the previous section or added by going to the insert tab, symbol, Choosing normal text as font and currency symbols as subset, selecting the currency symbol, and pressing insert. Let's cut the symbol and add it to the formulas. The first way to do this is to simply concatenate the symbol with the rest of the formula. So instead of euro, I'll add the currency symbol in quotation marks, and my formula concatenates the text highest sales with the maximal value in the column of the sales growth and the euro sign. The second way to incorporate the currency symbol is to use the text function in the formula. This formula concatenates the text lowest sales with the minimal value in the sales growth column, but this value is formatted using the text function. The value for the text function is given back by the min function, and the formatting is specified in quotation marks. The number has one decimal place and is rounded to the nearest thousand. It is followed by the non standard text THS Euro, which needs square brackets and a dollar sign. Let's add the currency symbol, and this is the result. The currency symbol itself does not necessarily need the square brackets. Alternatively, instead of the square brackets and a dollar sign, double quotation marks can also be used. The currency symbol can also be added to a pivot table. The source data of my pivot table contains year-over-year -year sales growth in euro per product per month. To add the currency symbol, 
Just right-click on any of the value cells in the pivot table, go to Value Field Settings, and choose Number Format. Here the procedure is similar to the one for the cells. For example, I can choose Accounting as the format, and look for the Euro symbol. I can also apply custom formatting. Let me just take the custom formatting that I use for the cells in this video. And this is the result. Please like and subscribe for more contents like this.